Provenance. Noun. The place where something originally comes from. So one thing I've learned kind of over the years of making work is that it's so important to be organized and the more you make work the more there is which is obvious but it's, it's funny when I look back at work just trying to remember if I drew it in 2010 or 2013 or was it 2003 or 2007 lucky enough a lot of my earlier work I just don't have anymore it was either destroyed or it's gone because I lived in London and then Japan and I didn't really have the means to kind of transport work or store it or archive it so a lot of the early work is gone but between 2009 and now I've made a lot of work and if I didn't really take the time to get organized it would be a complete mess but the thing is about being organized is it takes time it takes commitment it takes investment and it takes a team sometimes so I've spent probably the last couple of years photographing the work, measuring the work, doing condition reports on the work, numbering the work and then organizing it. And so that within itself is a full-time job. So you're trying to be an artist, you're trying to make the work, you're trying to be as free as you can, but the more you make, the more you have to document, the more you have to archive, the more you have to be organized. And there's lots of ways that you can do that just very initially. You know, when you make a piece of work, put your name on it, put the date on it, put your name on it, put the date on it. When you make a piece of work, if you want to preserve it or you think it's something you might want to keep, wrap it up, protect it, put tissue around it. You know, there's lots of little ways that you can start to be organized. Make a spreadsheet or use a lot of the kind of software that exists out there in the world. So if I could go back to my younger self, five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I would say Chantel, get more organized because it's so much harder to do it later on than it is to do it a little bit by little bit by little bit by little bit. One thing I've actually just been doing through this quarantine is photographing all of my sketchbooks. So I have 145, 150 sketchbooks and so photographing every single page. And so that's probably my biggest achievement of this quarantine is to have all of those sketchbooks organized and up to date. Not saying that you have to do that, but just think about ways where you can use this time to get organized that will help you in the future.